In the wake of a mass overdose that sent four people to the hospital, Portland City Commissioner Renee Gonzalez is now looking at when it's appropriate to call 911. Meantime, some Portland residents are frustrated that they can't call any time they need police help. All this as the city struggles to find enough dispatchers, operators, and police. K2's Megan Allison joins us live now outside City Hall after speaking with the commissioner. And Megan, what message is he trying to send to the public right now? Well, Steve, he tells us during that mass overdose event, dispatch received a lot of calls about the same incident. Moving forward, he's asking people to only call 911 if they witness a crime in progress or if someone's life is at risk. Commissioner Renee Gonzalez says right now it's easy for emergency dispatch lines to get tied up and leave people waiting. I asked if it was appropriate for people to call 911 during the mass overdose at the North Park blocks on Monday. People are struggling to breathe. Isn't that the right time to call 911? You know, when in doubt in that situation, yes. And, uh, and certainly if you see things like they're turning blue or there's, you know, or you can't recognize the, them breathing at all. Again, those are good reasons to call 911. Gonzalez tells us people should not call for crimes after the fact, such as a stolen car or property damage. Let's say someone's walking down the street and they see someone shooting up. Should they call 911? No. I mean, I think that's not emergency at best, and uh, at least right now. If you see them killed over blue and not breathing, then that's a 911 call. Portland Fire says during this time, it may be necessary to engage with someone in a medical crisis on the street instead of calling 911 and driving away. Connect with your community. Reach out. Hello, hello, are you okay? Do you need medical assistance? What can I do to help you? Tap somebody on the toe. Be certain that when you establish a call in the 911 system that it's a true emergency. We spoke with Portlanders about this. One nurse says he still believes people should call 911 when in doubt. In the old days, you knew to call 911, you'd had no worries, and now you're hearing all this, you know, shortages of ambulance drivers and response teams and confuses people. Others are concerned about using the non-emergency line. I've called the police non-emergency number a couple of times. Where I live right on Broadway, and, you know, you're kind of lucky if they show up at all. The commissioner tells us to get around the limited staffing. They're in the process of adding new dispatchers to the team, as well as additional phone lines to get people through the system. We're live in downtown Portland. Megan Allison, Cage News. Megan, thank you. Kaiser.